I'm Michael Goulian, and I first soloed an airplane before I could drive a car. I've been lucky enough to fly air shows all around North America, and I've raced in the Red Bull Air Race World Championship around the globe. My wife and I also own and operate Mike Goulian Aviation, a Cirrus training center based in Plymouth, Massachusetts, near beautiful Cape Cod. So subscribe to our channel and come along for a journey of passion, dedication, and excellence as I bring you behind the scenes and inside the cockpit of some of the most amazing airplanes and air shows in the world. You can also follow my wife Karen's journey to get her instrument rating in our beautiful Cirrus SR22. Hey friends, well at the conclusion of Karen's IFR lesson number eight in our YouTube series, we came back into some pretty windy conditions at Plymouth. It was blowing around 20 to 25 knots, not too much of a gust factor at all. So I thought it would be great to do a couple of landings. And Karen's been having some trouble with, like everybody does, trying to figure out what is the proper speed, how to essentially get her airplane from the round out into the flare, into the hold off and into the touchdown. And she'd balloon a little bit sometimes. Sometimes she would level off a little high, get a big sink rate. So I started to incorporate the AOA indicator, which we have on the Garmin Perspective Plus in our, in our G6 Cirrus. So I realize this topic is gonna to be a little controversial. I'm sure a lot of people will be making comments down below that they like, they don't like, so forth. This is really meant for people that are already flying Cirruses, that are pretty proficient in landings, and wanna really get the speed and the energy state of the airplane under control very, very precisely. As you hear me talk about in the video to Karen, it's more like a stabilized approach taken to the next level. So what you'll see on the two videos is I'm actually having Karen fly the airplane based on angle of attack, really 1.3 VSO or in a larger airplane would be the ref speed, right? The V ref speed. So you'll see that we're coming down there trying to get the angle of attack indicator to the three o'clock position on the primary flight display in the airplane. And that's really what we're trying to do. And that help will help her get the airplane in the same energy state every time crossing the threshold with similar power settings. It might be a little bit more or less depending upon the wind. And you'll actually hear Karen talk about uh, how much power she might need flying. So there's a little confusion as to how much power do I add if there's a headwind versus a gust factor. And she just, we, that's something we talked about after we landed. I didn't have time to talk about that in the airplane, but she was a little confused as to like, hey, adding half of the gust factor. So it was a 10 knot gust factor. We'd add five knots to the approach speed, but it was a steady wind that we were using that day. So this is a nice technique. I use it now. Again, it's really for, uh, I don't want to call it advanced pilots, but pilots that are experienced landing a Cirrus are comfortable in a Cirrus. And again, it's only with an airplane that is equipped with flight into known icing capability or Fiki airplane, because that's where you get the AOA indicator. So on an SR20, you wouldn't have this feature like you would on the SR22. So take it for what it's worth. It's interesting. We've sort of deviated off of the IFR lesson for just one little iteration here because I thought that you guys would all appreciate it and like what we're doing here, some landings. And after we're done with Karen's instrument rating, I'm sure we'll go back and do some more of this sort of really intensive sort of landing work and some other things. Leave some comments, good or bad. I'm sure I'll take a little bit of heat. This will be a little controversial. That's just fine. Uh, and it was just what I was trying to impress upon her that day to try to really groove her landings. And thanks a lot for watching. Hope you guys like it. Uh, it's kind of a fun, it was a fun day for me. And actually the the taxi back discussion that Karen and I had are just as important as what we did with the flying. So listen to it all the way through. And again, leave comments, have a great time. Hope to see you this summer at an air show somewhere. Are we gonna do a full stop and then taxi no, back? No, let's just do one touch and go and then we'll call it a good one. I don't wanna do touch and go oh, initially. Don't be a weenie. I'm a weenie. You're, I know you're a weenie, but you're not gonna be because I'm in the plane. <laughs>
<laughs> so there's no, there's no crying allowed today. <laughs> No crying and flying? No crying today. No crying and flying. Plymouth traffic, steers 199, my golf on the left downwind, 33 Plymouth. Okie dokie, spooky flaps 50. Not yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not at the pro you're, tender you're to run with you. going super fast, 140. Slow the okay. plane down. That's good. By the time they get down, you start to slow down, you're going to be a beat the numbers. Boost bump, mixture flap light. Okay, now power back. Lower the nose. Set your tram. Good. Make it down. When you're ready. No, not yet. When you're ready. Bump, buddy, bump. There goes. Limit traffic, Sirius 199, my golf turning base, 33 Plymouth. Start using your AOA, right? Once you get on final. Okay. Everything so good. Let go of the stick. Good. Nicely. Nice, 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 nice. Your nose is pretty low, though. Yeah, I see that. So trim the plane and get the nose up. That'll help you. Good. Start your turn. You got a tailwind, right? Yep. So I'd start your turn a little early. Giving him a little bit of power. Yep. Fine. Plymouth traffic, Sears 199, my golf, turning final, 3-3 three, three, Great. Okay. So as you roll out on final, look where your speed is, slightly here. I'm not looking here, I'm looking here. So start to bring the power back, get the AOA higher. Yeah, but I'm only going 86. Don't worry, power back. What do you mean, only doing 86, you're on final, what should you be? 78. Right? Yeah, but there's a huge headwind. So that has nothing to do with this. That's just your okay. ground speed. The wind has nothing to do with it. Okay. The wind doesn't change the angle of attack, sweetheart. Right? A wing is a wing is a wing. Yeah. Power back. Come on. Get the nose up here. Look, 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 look. That's where the airplane wants to be. Feel how comfy and happy it is right here? 25%. Whatever the number is. I don't yeah. care about the number. I care about that thing. Yeah. So it's a little fast. Bring the power back. I feel like I'm sinking too fast. You're though. sinking a little bit. It's nice. Because it's because of the wind. It's nice? Well, the, this is because of the wind. It's perfect. See what your speed is? Yeah. Rock steady. Good. Now power back a little. A little. Bring the nose down a little. Nose down some more. Speed's fast. Good. Power back. Power back. Power back, 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 back to idle. Now start to look at the end. Beautiful, beautiful. Keep it coming back. Keep, keep coming back. Beautiful. Nice. Flaps to 50. Okay. Be careful. Ready? Go ahead. Easy, easy. Right rudder. Karen, okay. Let go, let go. It's just one nice, smooth motion. And then go. Okay. okay. You don't have to go in, 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 in. Just up and go. Okay. Okay. Nice. You see how much more, how more the energy of the airplane, see how much less energy the airplane has when you have it on speed? Yeah. And it just settles nicely. Okay. Right? I don't, I don't feel like that was a great landing, though. It was a great landing. There's not extra flaps. Okay, extend it a little bit. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Hey, high, low, fast, or slow? Uh... We're clear of uh, high too, right? over, uh, you're, you're still at uh, pattern altitude, and you're half a mile beyond the end of the runway, okay. right? Yeah. Plymouth traffic, Sierra 199, my golf turning base, 3-3 three, three, Plymouth. Okay, so I'd put my flaps out earlier. Good. Get the airplane trimmed correctly. Make the plane work for you. Yeah. Good. The nose should not be down seven degrees ever, right? Okay. It should be like here. Okay. Like three degrees. Okay. So that's why your speed gets messy. Your yeah. speed's messy because your pitch control's messy. Well, I was supposed to be at 15, right? 
Well, Karen. <laughs> okay. That's a reference. Yes. Okay. I know. So see where your speed is? It's a little slow. Right, yeah. Your your speed is just a number to start from. Okay. I mean your power setting is just a number to start from. Put the traffic here's one on now, Mike off about a two mile final runway. Three three, we're gonna be a full stop. Okay. Perfect. Sure okay, late. so now, settle the airplane down at 1.3 VSO, 0.6 on the AOA. Do it. So how are you going to do that? What's it mean right now? What right. does that mean? It means the plane's fast, right? Okay. Right? Yeah. White is fast, yellow is slow, red is, really is slow. critical, yeah. right? Yeah. So slow the airplane down. I did. No, you did. It's I not did. at 0.6. Get it to point six. Power back more. Okay, 500 feet, we got boost pump, mixture, and flaps. We're good to go. That's better. Look out the window. Looking out the window. Okay. Little slow. Good. Nice. Good. Power back a little. Can I leave it up for a minute? Well, I just don't want you to be going 85, that's all. Okay, I'm still going 80. Okay, that's good. You just have to juggle it, right? It's a little fast, so bring the power back. I'm flying the AOA, I'm not flying the speed. Okay. Flying the AOA. Okay. It's fast, the airplane's fast. There you go. Nice. Airplane's fast. Good, that's better. Nice. Perfect. Hold it now. Just hold that attitude all the way down. You're a little slow, that's fine. So just lower the nose a little bit, right? right there. Oh, beautiful. Now watch, Karen. Power to idle, all the way to idle. Now just here, hold it, hold it, hold it back, 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 back. Left rudder, left rudder, look at that. See how beautiful that is? Yeah. Because the added, because we're not doing... I'm eating Niner Mike Golf. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. It's my boss. <laughs> Big left. Yeah. So, a traffic steer is 199 Golf, clear of all runway. So, when you come down six or seven knots too fast in a high performance airplane like this one, that six or seven knots just relates to some float, right? So shouldn't I be adding five knots for every, like, ten knots of wind? Oh, the guy, well, again, flying. So, all, so of, all, of those, all of those things that you're talking about, right? Yeah. Are good, but it's not really gusty today, isn't it? It's just windy. It's 20 knots of wind. It's yeah. not there. It's not yeah, like not terrible. look at the windsock. It's not up and down and up and down. It's just this, it like Karen. The 20 knots of wind is nothing. No, I know. Yeah. 20 knots of wind. No, it was just I would didn't care about the okay. wind more as the it was just bumping. So, so my point is, if you had the airplane in the proper energy state, every single time you cross the threshold, the landing will be so much more predictable. It is taking a stabilized approach to the next level, right? Yep. So six or seven knots here level. Now you're now you're like playing the game. Is it fast or is it slow? And then that's when you balloon, and that's when yep. you, and that's where you get in that problem, right. right? Yep. But if you come down in the proper at the angle of attack. With the and the energy, the airplane has the same energy state all the time. Then the landing will be almost the same every single time, and you'll get much more consistent. With okay. It, okay. Okay. And you don't have to chase a speed because remember, the 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 1.3 VSO or our our speed to fly on final changes with the weight of the airplane. Right. 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 So. You know, the book says 80 to 83 at gross weight. It doesn't say 80 to 83 at whatever weight we are right now, which right. is pretty light. Yeah. Right? There's two of us, and, you know, we're, whatever, 15 gallons down on fuel. So, 
the airplane's lighter. Okay. Yep. So yeah, I don't know if so you noticed. So that's why the AOA is better to use sometimes. All the time. All the Not time. sometimes. All the time. Okay. Right. And remember that the AOA is independent of the airspeed indicator, isn't it? So if the airspeed malfunctions, it's iced over, it's clogged with a bug, whatever, we're going to fly the AOA. You don't need, like, if you're flying AOA, you don't need an airspeed indicator. Okay? The military flies only AOA. Okay. Right? Yep. Flying on a carrier. They're not chasing the speed up and down. Right. Right? Does that make sense? That makes a lot of sense. And yeah. that was a good landing. It was a really good landing. And look at, you didn't use any runway. No. Right? The airplane yeah. landed, touched down, yeah. you're like, we're here. Right. Yeah. There's no energy left. You and don't have to like, whoa, brakes, bro. Right. You don't need yeah. any of that. Yeah. That sound makes sense? Makes a lot of sense. I could okay. tell that we got, I don't normally get to turn on that run taxiway. Exactly. <laughs>